there. So I'm just going to do a um, little video about eyeliners. I um, was going to do a how-to and then also do this, but I realized that this is probably going to be easier just to explain them first, and then we'll kind of, um, I'll do a video on how to use them. So I hope this helps. Um, I've been comparing things for a few weeks, so I've really learned a lot, um, and it's coming up with some really good stuff. So first of all, we have this um, L'Oreal Liner Intense Carbon Black, and this is what it looks like. Um, it's got a really, really like little brush. Obviously, you can see that. Um, and you can do like a really thin line, like that. You know, a really thick line like that, or probably a really, really, really thin line. Um, it's really, really watery, um, but I do like it. I like to do the wing tip with it um, type of eyeliner because it is so, so thin. Um, but it's not my go-to product every day just because you have to be really, really careful with this. Um, also from L'Oreal is the same thing, Carbon Black. They got all fancy with the um, name here. It's like the, if you can see this, liner with a U in it, intense. But this is the felt tipped. And I really like this one. Looks like this. If you can see it. Um, it is kind of like movable, you know? like, But um, it's got more, you know, it's flexible, It's but it's got more of a, kind of a solidness to it that I like so this is just I really like the line that it gives too um, you can do thicker with it you know um, this is what I use I really like it if you have lashes on or something because it doesn't like move anything it just goes right on over it um, this is one of my favorites but it's you can't really smudge it once this is on and where it is that's pretty much it um, so that's one of the things that I don't really love about liners, but I really, really like. This is probably my favorite um, liquid liner. And then I have the Maybelline Line Stiletto. It's the same thing as the L'Oreal Carbon. I brought I bought this one in brown because I like brown some days, and then this one in black. Um, it's the same type of brush. You know, the little felt tip is what I like it. Um, same thing can do it's pretty watery too um, but I like that I like the brown that it gives I like I like it um I like to go <coughs> sorry I like to use this because it's not as dark every day so you know a lot of days during the week um, I'll use that but I really like that one too and I think they were the same in price like nine bucks or something like that so um, a lot of times you do buy one get one 50% off and that's actually how I got like these two to try out um, so that's that for liquid liners and then for sorry um, gel liners is my new 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 addiction um, not new addiction but it's what I've always been addicted to and just can't get over this is Mac it's called um, blitz and glitz if you can see that like this it's um it's actually like a grayish blackish with little flecks in it and this is where I use my absolute favorite brush of all time the Sigma E65 small angle um, I just dip it in I mean a little bit like there's not even anything on there really and then I just I mean you can see well there was really nothing on there that time um, you can see the line that it gives I just really like it because it is angled so you can go from like thinner to thicker. Um, this is what I like to use for like right here. Does that make sense? Um, I really love this on your waterline. Just like this. The angle of the brush is really nice. It kind of goes exactly where you should. Um, and I just like to pull it into the water, like into the lash line. Because it's naturally going to, you know, water off as your eyes water throughout the day. But this is what I like most on the waterline. Just because it does create a soft look. It stays on pretty well. It's friendly to your eyes. I really like it. I have sensitive eyes and that, that stuff really works for me. Um, I would never, ever, ever use these three liquids on your waterline or underneath. Mm -mm. Not going to happen. It's just 
too liquidy, it's too scary for me, I wouldn't do it. For water lines, I stick to cold pencils or gel eyeliners, and that's it. Um, but the liquid is great for above, so there you go. Um, that MAC fluid line stuff, I absolutely love, but it is pricey. I found this um, Maybelline Eye Studio. Looks like almost the same. It's CVS for $10, I think. And it's I got this in black, so it is darker. But um, I like it. It came with this little brush, actually. It's like this like flat but pointed um and it kind of does the same thing as the fluid line um you could probably yeah you could do it thinner even with that brush I would always use my other brush my Sigma brush with it but it seems like the same kind of product and I've liked it when I've used it it gives me like the same payoff as the Mac does and it's cheaper so I think that's a really really good drugstore buy um, as for pencil eyeliners, I've recently gotten um, these two. I guess I could use a different hand now. These two are Master Drama Eye Studio Maybelline pencils um, in blue and charcoal. And I really like them. Um, they go on smooth, they do stay on pretty well. Um, I use them for the upper lash line. Some days when I just want to pop a color or something, and just like that, blue and the charcoal or grayish silver, whatever it is. Um, so, actually, that was a Revlon color stay. That one actually stays on really, really well. Um, I, again, I don't really use this on my waterline because it tends to make my eyes water. All of these products do on my waterline, so I just keep them up here. But um, the Revlon color stay stays on the best, I would say, out of... The Maybelline Master Drama ones, so something to keep in mind. And then here's the charcoal one, is that top one right here, um, by Maybelline. But like I said, I really like these for pencils. I mean, they're pretty inexpensive and they work well. Um, then I have these two. These two are the ones I've been comparing the most lately. They are from Sephora. This is Urban Decay 24-7 pencil, just the same thing. Um, this is Sephora pencil, same thing. Um, this one from Sephora is like 12 bucks. This one's like 20 bucks. Um, and I've worn them for weeks, one eye, um, one on each eye, and they seem to do the exact same thing. And the Sephora one comes with this little smudgy thing on it, which can be really nice because you can, you know, you have an instant smudger with you if you throw it in your purse or on the go or something. It just smudges really nice. I mean, you can seriously get some smokiness out of this. And I like, I love these two on my waterline. I've never had a problem with. Like I said, the coal liners, I actually do like. The, you know, the pencils. Um, I really like them on my waterline. They seem to work. And like I said, I would go with the Sephora one because it's cheaper than the Urban Decay one. So that's something nice to know. Um, like when smudging eyeliner, um, the fluid line, the gel eyeliners work well, the pencils work well as long as you have a brush or a smudger or something that's, you know, working. But like I said, these, these liquids are not going to give you any smudge. Once they're on, they're on. I'm going to try and show you exactly what I mean by that. Um, these are actually, um, you know, these are the gels, or the, the liquids. I'm going to try and smudge them with this. Can you see that? How it's literally, it's like, it reminds me of paint. It literally just rubs off. It's crazy. But just keep that in mind. So don't put something, you know, liquid on and then it's so like crazy and you want to smudge it out and it's not going to work. So that's why I really recommend liquids for, um, they stay on well, but I mean, pencil stay on well too. And so I like the liquids for over lashes or something like that. Um, so I think that's it, and I will be doing a tutorial for actual how to do different liner looks, like a wing tip, um, how to do water lines, how to do tight lining, which is like up here on your lash, and how to do just an everyday kind of look, um, you know, smudging and stuff. Um, I'll be posting that too, so I hope this helps. Thanks.